Hello guys, today I'll teach you how to set up Kovacs FPS Aim Trainer for Overwatch. This game is my, in my opinion the best aim trainer available right now because everything is so customizable. This means you can find gamers that use abilities for Overwatch, gamers with right projectile speed for Overwatch, and move speed for Overwatch. If you're interested in some other first person shooter, this video might still be helpful though as I'll be covering just about everything, meaning all you need to do is find or create the files yourself. But let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is just click the link you'll find in the top of my description. Then you'll find this page and what you want to do is just click download. This is the folder that contains the file you'll need. Now go back to your Steam library and uh, right click and click properties. You want to go into local files, browse local files and then you'll see this folder. Just go into FPS Aim Trainer again, and now go back to the folder you just downloaded. Open up your Crosshair folder. Put all these files into the Crosshairs. I already got these folders, so I'll just uh, just replace them. Um, now go back into folder you download again, and uh, this time you want to go into the Hit Marker. The Quit Hit Marker is obviously for headshot. Hit Marker is just for the normal body shots. And again into the crosshairs. And the last thing we want to do is just put these freeze files into the sounds. Uh, and I'll replace them again. So that's pretty much what you need to do before you head into the game. So once you open up the game, you'll probably see something like this. The only things you need to change is this the sensitivity scale. Choose Overwatch and then put in your sensitivity that you want to use. Um, then you want to go down to FOV measurement, you choose Overwatch again, and if you use the default Overwatch FOV, which is 103, just type it that in. Um, you can customize your FPS, but other than that, all of this should be good, so just press confirm now. The next thing I want to show you is how to put in the Overwatch sounds in this game, so what you want to do is just press game options, and uh, then you want to go into sound, and then the kill confirm sound, basically the sound whenever you, um, you kill a target. You wanna go into this and then choose kill or watch. And you should have this file because that's the file you just downloaded earlier. Set confirm. Now that you've done that, I want to show you how to find an actual game mode. So just press cancel. Now this tab will should pop up, um, you'll see Steam Workshop, is, which is basically where you download all the scenarios, all the game modes, all the maps, and log files, which is all the ones you've already downloaded. So, if you want to find Overwatch um, scenarios, just hover over the tiles, and at the game, it should say Overwatch. You can also just search Overwatch here, and you'll find different ones for Overwatch. The first thing I want you to do is actually just search for Widowmaker. So just choose the Widowmaker vertical and download it. Now you can choose between challenge, which is basically where your score gets put on a leaderboard and free play where you can just play as much as you want without any pressure on you. I'll just press free play for now. Now you want it to go into game options, weapons, and you can fill that by a scenario. So this is a list of a lot of different um, watch characters now. So let's start off with Boop Rocket. And we'll just pretend that's fair. First thing one you want to do is hide the weapon and for the crosshair you want to find Farah's remodel and just choose that. Then we have the Farah crosshair. Um if you want to change the color, you can't really do that in this game. So if you want to change the color you have to do it paint in Photoshop or something else. If you have the shooting sound, which I don't have at this moment, you can just um, go into this and just choose the shooting sound. You still check the folder though, I might update it in the future. And uh, for the hit marker, just put that on white. I don't know why it's not white. Uh, for the hit marker, you just want to find the normal hit marker there. And for the hit hit marker, the quit one, you want to find the quit hit marker there. And that should be fine. I actually forgot two things. Um, for the hit sound, you obviously want to hit a watch. And for the hit hit sound, quit a watch. 
So just press confirm now. And actually what you want to do is do the same for every single character. So just go through them all, uh, all the ones you want to play with in this game. And when that ends you can just press over, uh, confirm. So for example we have machine pistols, tracer with surgeon rifle. Soldier 76, I'll have the list of all the uh, watch characters in the description with their um, PS aim trainer names and the last thing I want to show you is actually the zoom sensitivity thing so spider bullet is the zoomed in Widowmaker um, you just want to choose the widow zoom cursor and then the same for everything else um, but for the spider rifle, because it's basically overwatch, you don't need to do anything for the FOV. Put in the zoom sense multiply like this, and everything should be fine. Um, so yeah, just do the same for every single character, except for Widowmaker. Spider rifle is the normal Widowmaker. Spider bullets is zoomed in Widowmaker. If you go into all, you can actually. Do the same for zoom sniper rifle. Just put in the uh, widow zoom because um, the zoom sniper rifle is just the sniper rifle in the game. It doesn't really have to be widowmaker, but by doing this, you can basically make it look like widowmaker, and it will feel like widowmaker. So it doesn't really matter. This, this is just to be safe. All right. So last thing I want to show you is how to change your keybinds. Just so when I press cancel game options and keybinds so for example ability 4 which is the melee button I have that binded on my thumb mouse button so just click it and press the new key there we go if you want to change it for one hero for example in tracer you can just go and find the tracer map and then over here you can change your uh, keybind so left shift, left shift is um, the blink if I wanted a right mouse button just Hold down left click and drag it to the button you want and now you can play just That's like it that. for this video. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends. If you found any error or have any questions, just let me know in the comments or you can ask in the Discord community or in the subreddit slash r slash FPS aim trainer.